This music is 116 years old and it was used at the first performance that the orchestra played from this symphony conducted by Mahler himself. Playing Mahler in this hall, on this stage, with this orchestra being so connected to Mahler. Actually, it was Mahler himself conducting the first time that the orchestra played the second symphony. So knowing all this makes it a unique experience to play Mahler at exactly this spot. Mahler in general for brass players is a party, let's say. <laughs> it has the most beautiful melodies, the most sensitive melodies, but in the other side also sometimes the roaring brass sound that you can get as a, as a brass section, complete brass section. But also at the same time as, as a trombone section, you get featured a lot. For example, in this symphony, the second symphony, you have this amazingly beautiful choral that everybody knows. In the last movement, the music dies out. It becomes silent, and the silence feels like it's forever, you know? <laughs> and suddenly you have to play only with your colleagues next to you, which rarely happens as a trombone section. And then you play the most beautiful choral you can imagine. Thinking about the history of this piece at that moment, also imagining Mahler actually standing there, having the connection with the orchestra, etc., etc. I think I cannot remember any performance of this piece that I didn't have goosebumps all over me. And specifically about this choral and the development of this, it fits so well to our way of playing. And of course, Mahler is in the DNA of the orchestra. And not only of the orchestra, but also in the brass playing and our brass section. Well, literally, the feeling of history is in the sheet music we still play from nowadays. So for example, here I have our sheet music from the second symphony. And it was used the first time it was played here with the orchestra. So that's about 116 years ago. And we still play from the same music. So I'm just imagining the journey that this music made. So Mengelberg, who was in that time the chief conductor of the Concertgebouw Orkest, was in that time also the chief conductor of the New York Philharmonic. So he went probably with a big suitcase with all of the music on a boat, of course, crossing the ocean for maybe two, two and a half weeks, all the way to New York, playing this second symphony of Mahler. And the principal trombonist wrote in New York Philharmonic 1925. So it's not just the thought of history, but you actually feel the history with having the music here. From this beautiful stage, I'm going home to enjoy the second symphony of Mahler, and I hope you will enjoy as much as I know I will do.